Oh, we just gonna draw four, just a casual draw four, by the way. Trigger, 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 trigger. Attacks. Let's swing. Let's show our confidence, shall we? All the triggers. How's it going, y'all? Titan Smash MTG, and today we're here with some more MTGA standard action. This time we have a homebrew that I made myself here. And from my early testing, this has actually been super, super sweet. But this is Naya Magecraft. Um, I built this myself. I realized I've not really played any Magecraft uh, decks on the channel. And that's one of the kind of new things that actually seems like it might be good. So I wanted to try it out, but give it my own spin here. You know, everybody's doing Boros Magecraft or maybe Ores off of Magecraft. But nobody's tried three colors that I've seen yet. So I wanted to try Naya here. Do the Boros shell here, but add the green for a few pretty key cards. Um, so we look at the green cards here. We have Jaspara Sentinel here, just a way to have a one drop that we can ramp into other stuff here. Uh, we're still a Clarion Spirit deck as well, so any kind of game where you can get like turn one Jaspara Sentinel, turn two Clarion Spirit into Luminance or something like that is just super, super good because turn two you're triggering Spirit already. At the very top end here, we're playing two Toski to draw a bunch of cards because again, we can go wide with Clarion Spirit. We have instant sorceries like Satyr's Cunning, which make tokens. Uh, and a special one here that I'm honestly, this is the one I'm still kind of not sure about. But early on, it's actually been surprisingly nice. This is Emergent Sequence. Uh, you know, it gives a land out of your deck to help you ramp a little bit. Thins your deck out when you're doing so. But also, it's it's, it's ramp. It's another creature. And it's a way to just kind of get the, you know, thin the deck out a little bit. So you're closer to the cards you want to find here. Um, but that's what we got in the green cards here. Otherwise, it's kind of what you expect from a Boros Magecraft deck. We have the four of Luminancer. The four of Light Scribe. Uh, big spells to hit here. Show of Confidence. If, especially if you've cast two or three spells already in the turn. Show of confidence popping off, and especially with Leon and Light Scribe, it goes crazy. And for anybody who's not played this, if you have multiple Light Scribes out, um, this triggers for each spell. So say if you cast, cast one instant of sorcery, uh, you're getting plus two, plus two for each one. So it's kind of crazy there. One that I haven't seen people playing much, but Bosri Solidarity. Just a two mana, put a one one counter on each creature you control. Again, we like to go wide in this deck, so you're going wide. You're kind of going big with Leon and Light Scribe. So they're doing a bunch of damage here, and then Matoski. Say if you're on your last central sorcery here, but you get to deal some damage, refill the hand, have a bunch of gas left over. Um, only going to be playing this in best of one just to kind of try it out. Uh, but early testing, like I said, it's been okay. So I'm curious to see how this does. Uh, mana base here, pretty simple. We have all the pathways and then some basics. We only play 21 land, I think, 4, 8, 12, 14, 16. Actually, just 20 lands. So we're super low on the land count here, but I think it's okay in this kind of deck. So we got that. I, I built the sideboard, but I've not played it. But if you want to take it in the best of three, this is the sideboard I have. Um, two fight is one, just a way to have indestructible and buff one of your creatures up. To be rolling vortex for the ultimatum matchups. Two, actually three scorching dragon fire, but you know this layout's got awful. Uh, three scorching dragon fires here for just removal. A one of lot of hope, a way to put a one one counter on target creature. Maybe destroy an enchantment out there, especially if you play a mono. Like this card's really nice against mono red because all three modes are relevant. Uh, finally, if you need to just gain some life in a pinch, you can do that as well. Uh, two Cloythos, two Chrome War, and two Ox of Agonis. So let's take this in there and rank best of one, see how it goes. Let's go. All right, first game of the day here is against Kamiri. Ooh, over Platinum 1. Well, let's see if we can stop him. I want the play to start this off, and pretty good hand here. Luminancer on turn one here. If we can avoid some removal, we can double spell this next turn, so not too shabby. So we'll go ahead and drop the Luminancer down. Eddie. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of ways to deal with Eddie. Let's go ahead. Satyr's Cunning for now. I think I'll just attack here first. Like, eh, it doesn't matter. Let's just play this Elf of Satyr. Swing for two. Now we've already got three creatures on two turns. This, this next turn, I can Defiant Strike and Bossy Solidarity. So not too shabby. Would appreciate it if the opponent would not stomp me. But if they do, we have the Self of Savior. So we're not too bad there. Okay, Sentinel. That's it. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Clarion Spear is pretty good here, too. So, I got a decision to make now. I can double spell. I think I'm just going to do the Clarion Spirit here. And then go to attacks. And probably just a Defiant Strike anyways. See how they block here. Cool. So, we'll be losing ourselves a Savior. But we get to take out their Spar Sentinel. We get to make a 1-1. One -one, and we get to pump up our Luminancer. So, that's pretty solid here. So we still have four creatures left. They just have an edge wall. We have this boss of solidarity coming down next turn. So let's see if we can get them dead. But yeah, this deck's been pretty sweet. I like how we can just kind of go wide with this, but at the same time, 
Yeah, there's just so many different avenues of attack from this, and it's really cool. Magda, okay. Not too afraid of that. So this is just the new gruel. Ooh, Toski. Now we got a decision to make, and I think we just want to play Toski here. I'm going to attack one of these three. I think, do I want to send in the spirit or not? I don't really have a way to trigger it right now, at least. I think I'm just going to get in here. It's card draw also. They're kind of forced to block. Oh, they're even blocking with Eddie. Ooh. Yeah, they don't want us drawing cards with this. So, Toski getting us a chance to land, but that's fine. So, this next turn, we can still double spell with Satyr's Cunning and Bosley Solidarity. So, let's see what they do here. Spider Sentinel. Okay. And a Love Struck Beast. Okay. Not bad, but nothing we can't handle. So let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll play the Satyr's Cunning here. Trigger. We have no ways to bring things back from the graveyard here, so no no reason to, doesn't really matter what we exile here. And I think we go ahead and just put counters on everything and get the swinging. So now our one drop can swing through a questing beast un, unharmed. Like, this is just great. They can't block the flyer. Well, I guess they can the Sentinel. This is a chump block. That is totally fine. So, Luminancer will trade with the Lovestruck Beast, but we get to draw two cards. Like, this deck is so good. That's a good card. Okay. This deck is gas. This deck is so fun. Another Lovestruck Beast. I think I want to just play it out. Yep. That's annoying. Little 2 2 token, though, getting some work done. That's a good draw. So we'll play the Light Scribe here. I don't want to do this. I could just go really wide. And I think maybe that's what we want to do here. I could, I could play this and then play Sager's Cunning. But I think we just want to go wide. So we'll play the Sentinel. Here I'm going to hold up Show of Confidence just to see what happens. Let's just swing here. This 2-2 two, two token is getting work done. So this is fine. We don't really lose anything here. Okay. Um, In that case, if we cast this, our flyer will be a 4-4. Four, four, so it'll still just trade there. Yeah, so I think we have to do this now. I don't I didn't really want to do this now, but this is still fine. All right, opponent. They got a Rimrock Knight and one card. Okay, edge wall. Not a bad draw. Ooh, Clarion's good here too. Okay. So let's Clarion Spirit first. Let's escape Satyr's Cunning. Again, Satyr's Cunning in this deck is just... It's like a guaranteed spell every turn, so you really run out of gas. That's a lot of creatures. Let's go ahead. We'll send in the 4-4. Four, four. We'll send in Toski. Because of Lovestruck Beast, I'm just going to send in those two for now. And these flyers are just going to be lethal in the air next turn if they don't have a way to deal with it. Okay, draw another card here. So we play the land. Play the Luminancer. Now this is just... This is just what I love. Pretty good top... I don't think that's enough though. Because Rimrock Knight can't block. So they've got one, two, three, four, five blockers. They can't block anything in the air. So they're dead, right? Four. Yeah, they're dead. Go. Cool. Let's play Satyr's Cunning. All the triggers. All the triggers. And that's GG. Good game one here. Niam Hcraft. Undefeated. Let's go play another. Alright, game number two here against Darth Elway. That's a name. I like that one. Don't play again. You love to see that. This hand is a little awkward having these two drops and no one drop, but I think we still keep this. I want to save this crash through for a Clarion Spirit, so we'll just pass the turn here. Black. So now we got a decision. I can play the Spirit. I'm just going to do it and hope we can dodge some removal this turn. 
Like, you have to cast one of these cards. Myers Grass. This is a mono black deck. Well, it's not very good. Yikes, that's a missed land drop. Uh, let's play this and crash through and hope we draw a land here. Okay. Uh, this isn't good. We crying. Crying in the club. Can I sell Freebooter? Not a card I'm particularly worried about. They should probably take her Defiant Strike here just to keep us off card draw since we're missing lands. Okay. Don't look at my Lumancer. Oh, you rascal. Man. It's crazy how just like one card can kind of ruin you here. Because in response, we could have been able to find a strike on our Luminancer, and then the Mogi's Favor wouldn't have hit it here. So we're now going to play these. We still get to, you know, if we draw a land this next turn, we can we can Bosri Solidarity and then show confidence, and that is a lot of damage. Assume they don't have, like, another Freebooter or anything to take our stuff here. But already pretty punished by that missed land drop. Let's see how it goes. Alright, they got another one. Cool. They probably take. They're looking at show of confidence. I would take solidarity, but okay. I don't think that's the correct call, but you do you, boo. Opponent's not attacking in here. Okay. Uh, this is frustrating. Like how different this game would be if he wasn't missing land drops. Let's go and swing in with this first. I'd like to have either one of these spells back. Okay, play Light Scribe number two. So we Solidarity this next turn, and we'll have 5, 10, 14 damage coming through. Assuming nothing dies here. Just use Castle. Castle's a good thing to use. Okay, they bring Lurus back. This is going to be annoying because they can just admire grasp this every turn. Hopefully they're not holding up like a Heartless Act or anything. Or eliminate Valky, okay. They know they can't take anything here. So if we draw if we draw Defiant Strike and they don't block, that's a land. That sucks. Defiant Strike would have I mean we'll see what happens here. It's 14 damage. Swing, I'm assuming they block. They need to block here because they don't know this last card in their hand. And if it was a Defiant Strike, they'd be dead. Okay, they're lucky we don't have it because they, they didn't play around it. Unfortunately, it's a forest. Sad day. I'm going to hold this forest just in case they have like another Cat Self Rebooter, maybe instead of something better than that. I'm assuming they just play Lurus here and then play Myers Grasp, and I'll be real sad. Yep. I hate it. I hate it. All right. This is rough because I can just jump now with the Lurus and gain some life. I don't have any way to give these flying. Are you kidding me? He is one card away. One card away from having lethal that last turn. That's so unfortunate, especially with us missing all these land drops. Okay. We need to draw a card anyway, so let's do this. So let's save. I hope if we found one more, one more pump spell or something, we could make our uh, selfless savers still live there. We'll play this now. No more lures is nice. They, they, you know, if they have to start trump blocking these these uh, kite self freebooters, that's pretty good for us. But if they have another removal spell, then we're probably just dead here. That's annoying. And then Myers Grasp. Yeah, we'll pack this one in. That missed land drop was brutal earlier, and then just the salt on top of the wound there was that uh, Defiant Strike. So, one on one. Let's see if we can keep it. All right, game number three against Yo! 
We're going to kick you butt. All right, that is three games in a row on the play. Let's go. This hand's a bit awkward, but I think we still keep it. We still have the Sagers coming on one to make a creature. And then here we have Crash Through and Defiant Strike to play things. I would love to just draw a Clarion Spirit would be good. Okay, green. Swarm Shambler. Hey, you're out on time, baby. It's going to play this. We'll swing in. Happy to trade here if they want to trade. All right, opponent finally decides not to block. Let's go ahead and just play the Clarion Spirit here. Pass the turn. Now this next turn, if we can find a land especially, we'll be cooking with gas. Forest for opponent. What you got, you? What the you got? Get it, because their name is you, and it's like it's a play on words with you. Live, struck beast. And then they're holding up the 1-1. One, one. Awesome. All right, good deal. So we will... Let's crash through here. A little trample, not too bad. Ooh, another Clarion Spirit's interesting too. I think maybe now we just play Clarion Spirit, right? The next turn really pop off. We got the guaranteed. Yeah, this would be good. Like even if we draw a land next turn for Toski, I just don't even know if we want to do that. I think we'd rather just play Solidarity and Defiant Strike, maybe. All right. You got it. Play faster. Let's go. They're sitting there with their hands in their pocket on the Swarm Shambler trigger. No attacking into that. So this next turn, we're going to go wide. We're going to put some counters on all the things. We're going to make combat great again. Faces Haven. I'm assuming the Love Struck Beach is coming down. Yup. Not too afraid of that, honestly. The answer's not too bad. So I think here I want to play Luminancer and then Bosri Solidarity. It's going to be a lot of tokens here. So Luminancer, trigger, trigger, trigger. Bump, bump, bump it up. And then everybody, everybody and their mom was getting counters. And now if we need to land this next turn, Toski can just go to town here with all of her flyers drawing some cards. This deck is, this deck's good. This deck is so good. All right. <laughs> you just packing it in. They didn't want anything else to do with it. Unfortunate, I wanted to pop off there. All right, game number four here is against Even Tuna. Let's take it to them. The MTG gods are on our side today on the play. All these games, we'll keep this. We will play a good boy. Now I have a red source here, which is a little bit awkward. But we'll draw one. I got faith. White, I'll see it, okay. Not a bad draw. Let's go to tax here first, just see if they want to trade. Be happy to trade if they want to. And we'll follow it up with the light scribe. Let's go. What you got? self save okay? Okay. This is going to be an annoying matchup, I feel. But I think we can take him. Sentinel's not bad. That at least gives us the red we need to. So I think here we can just play Sentinel. Play the savior. Like we're both. Like combat is going to be annoying for everybody here. Let's go ahead and swing two here. It's like basically free damage there at this point. Here we'll play another white source. You really just need the one green source in this deck. Like you're only green, we only have three different green cards. So if you have the choice between white and another color, usually you usually want white unless you need that other color. Maul's good here. They can fly. My sentinel can't really do enough to do too much to it yet. But if I attack, that's one less blocker we have to worry about too. So Pump swings. We will trade life totals here. All right, let's see what we got. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I think we just play Toski Doodle Dandy. One card in hand, no says I. Let's get to swinging. Oh, we just going to draw four. Just a casual draw four, by the way. Trigger, 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 trigger. Card number one, land. Card number two, Luminancer. Card number three, Toski. Card number four, Ooh, show of confidence. Show confidence with the crash through can just kill people, especially if we can pop off the crash through. Like one more instant of sorcery would be pretty sweet here. All right, Skyclave is annoying, but we do have a backup Toski, so I guess that's what we might end up doing this next turn. Self a savior, a very good boy, but cannot protect against Skyclave apparition. And here they get the one mana held up to protect their creatures, which is a little bit aggravating. But they're only swinging three a turn, so that's not too scary. 
have a land. Let's... We're going to want to play this. I kind of think we just play Toski and Luminancer here. And just set ourselves up for the big... But maybe I want to just Toski and then crash through just to draw more cards. Let's do that. Let's crash through. Another land. We only play like 20 or 21 lands, so... Could... I think, I think I'm going to swing with these three here. Hold back the Sentinel. And we'll end up just playing this Luminancer out. Because I do want to go a little bit wider. Okay, they're not blocking. Down to 11. We'll draw three cards. Luminancer. Spirit. Okay, another Light Scribe is really nice here. So we may just get to kill them next turn, depending on what we draw. We really need one more answer for Sorcery, which is absolutely insane. Another Maul. Pretty good. Oh, they're not putting it on the All Seed. Swing. Swing with both of them. That's ill advised, friend. Seven, eight, nine. I don't know about that decision. So they go to 14. I think they're just super dead here. Another land. Kind of flood down here a little bit at the end, but I think they're dead. So we do... Play this as a white source. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. So I can play, and just to cover all our bases here, I can play Clarion Spirit, play Light Scribe, play Show of Confidence, and then they're just dead. So Clarion Spirit coming down. Make sure we tap this correctly here. Light Scribe coming down. Spirit token. This deck is so good. All right, let's go to tax. Let's swing. Let's show our confidence, shall we? All oh, the triggers. Nice 15 life opponent. Casual swing for 21. Draw five, draw six cards, by the way. Last game of the day here is against Plan 9. I love this deck. I'm pretty proud of myself for this so far. This is sweet. We've been on the play all five games, which is pretty unnormal. Uh, we actually have great mana here. Would love this crash through. I may replace crash through the satyrs cunning, honestly. Like, I want more of those, but, the, you know, the cantrip and trample is nice, too. Opponent Mulligans. Play land, pass the turn. Okay, they got a Fury Calm, Usher. This is probably Winota. Let's see how we do against Winota. Uh, this is awkward because they can have Stomp in here for sure. I think I have to play something. And I think I care more about getting guaranteed spirits here, so I'm gonna play the uh, play the light scribe. Then next turn I can play spirit and hold up defiant strike, or just crash through. Probably better. Okay, that's not a stomp. And we'll take two here. It's a good card. That's a good card. So let's go ahead and play the spirit and then we will crash through. Okay, no responses yet. Don't you shock me, bro. Alright. Okay, we're, we are drawing the things. Swing for three. Like, if it's Winota, they never block. Which is smart. You're not supposed to block when you play Winota. You're supposed to swing and hit the face. Face at the place. All right, three mana. They've had a really good curve so far. On well, okay curve, at least. Apparition is annoying. I think that's the wrong call, though. I think I care more about a Clarion Spirit than I do the Light Scribe. But Light Scribe can just kill you out of nowhere, so maybe that's the case. Okay, we're drawing some good things here. 
I don't have a green source yet, but I think I just want, with all these white cards in hand, I still think I just want another white mana. So we just play this on the Boulder Loft. One, two, three. Let's go to text first. Let's swing. I think I'll at least Defiant Strike once here. Doesn't really matter. Emergent Sequence right now is pretty frustrating. Do I want to show of confidence now? Get two triggers here. It's probably worth it. Maybe it's a good idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it. We're going to play this patient game. Let's just play Selfless Savior here. Make a token. And I could show of confidence now, again, just to put counters on everything. But I think we'll wait one more turn here. We just got to hope we don't get windowed. They've only got four can four cards, and they would need a land and Winota to do so. So let's hope they didn't draw that perfect. Okay, cool. Elite Spellbinder, so they may not have a land here. They can look at our hand. I'm assuming they take Show of Confidence here. Just kind of frustrating. Like, even if they take that, if we get an untapped land, we can Defiant Strike and then Show of Confidence again. Now, I do wonder how much it costs to, because we have to, like, copying the spell, I wonder if it only counts once or twice. Sager's Cunning is actually a pretty, pretty sweet draw here. So I think here I'm just going to Sager's Cunning. Can't draw a card from it, obviously. I think we just go to attacks here with some of these. And I think I even send the spirit in just because I have my dog. My good boy. Like I said, Winota doesn't block. So, Defiant Strike, make a spirit token. Another self savior is actually not that bad. So we'll self savior here, pass turn. We're wide. They're down to seven already. No land, please. No land. Just, just pass the turn. Just pass the turn, friendo. Glad that came late. We will definitely protect the spirit here. It's much more, especially having two selfless saviors. Even if they have like a, like a shock or something here, I'd probably just sack the other selfless savior. I think it's worth it. Okay. Another self. Combat, kind of a nightmare here. Opponent, not swinging. Ooh, crash through's good. You having trample here could be nice. I'd love if we can draw a land, we'll be so good, man. That'll work too. Not a land, but let's Bosley Solidarity make a token, put counters on everything, and I think we just get to swing it from here. And with us having trample, this might just be lethal, however they block. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage coming through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no matter how they block, I think they're actually just dead here because of Trample. Alright, so they, they sack the Selfless Savior here to protect the Apparition. I think I'm fine with that. I don't care. We still have just too much damage coming through with the Trample. I don't, I don't think they accounted for Trample. That's GG. 4-1, and one, only losing them to the one game because we got Mana Screwed. This deck is sweet. Let's go and take a look at the deck list one more time. Alright, so overall 4-1 and one here with our only loss has been because we just missed mana. And, and that was kind of funny because we needed a Defiant Strike to be able to win there. And that was literally the next card we drew. So we could have very easily went 5-0 and with this deck. But this deck just felt insane, especially for a homebrew mine. Pretty proud of it. Um, but this is a lot of fun there. You did see moments when obviously that, you know, we're, we're a three-colored deck here. Um, not having access to like, yes, we can choose things with these pathways. But not having them be for both sides of the mana is kind of rough. Maybe you want to go in some way where you're playing a bunch of just basics and then the snarls, but that just seems really, really sketchy to be there, so I don't know if I can go that route quite yet. 
Um, but yeah, deck felt great. I really enjoy playing it. It's a lot of fun here. So hopefully y'all like this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. You know, everybody wants to see standard, but they don't want to see the same old standard. So I'm trying to do my best to make something interesting for y'all. So hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate the support, y'all. Let's go.